In today's video, I've got five facts about Shuichi Kaguya from the series Gleifnir slash a character analysis video. We will be going over Shuichi's bio, abilities in the anime, his voice actors, monster form, and more. Now, quick warning that there will be spoilers, so just a heads up. And for more weekly anime character fact videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Anyway, with that being said, let's roll intro and get straight into the facts. Shuichi is one of the main protagonists from the series who made his debut in episode 1 of the anime and chapter 1 of the manga. His birthday is unknown, what we do know is that he is a third year at school, two years above that of Claire. Shuichi is a male human with a pale skin tone and a frail slender looking body. He has greyish black eyes and short black and brown hair that is pretty shaggy looking. He wears glasses but has since ditched them and opted for contact lenses. Another feature worth mentioning is the scar around his neck after his encounter with Elena. Attire-wise, he is either seen in his school uniform that consists of a white short sleeve shirt with a grey tee worn underneath, blue trousers and red trainers. Other than this, we have seen him in a couple of casual attires, and then there is of course his monster form that I will talk about later in the video. Personality-wise, Shuichi is very quiet, self-reserved, shy, and timid. He tends to keep his head down at school and is actually very intelligent as he has received a recommendation for university, and his fellow students seem to always seek him out for help. There is of course a lot more to this seemingly innocent young boy in which Shuichi has the ability to transform into a monster. This ability of his is one that he is incredibly frightened of and as a result of this new reality of his, he feels a huge detachment from normal life. Which is to be completely expected and to me, yeah. 100% understandable. His relationship with Claire is of course one of the series' key focus, and she is definitely the polar opposite of him, in which he was terrified by her lack of self-constraint and lack of humanity when it came to taking the life of another. Shuichi was terrified of the length this girl could and would go, but she took care of him once she found out his true feelings about his monster form, and his feelings matched hers when he found out what her motive was behind her actions. Now, as the story progresses, Shuichi will begin to become a lot more serious and even colder as he accepts his monster form and wants to understand and improve his abilities. Shuichi's Japanese voice actor is Hane Natsuki. He has voiced other characters such as Tanjiro Kamado in Demon Slayer, Ken Kaneki from Tokyo Ghoul, Takumi Aldini in Food Wars, Rokuru and Mado from Twin Star Exorcist, and more. Now, I imagine that Gleifnir is getting an English dub at some point, but I haven't seen who they have cast, so no info on here just yet. Shuichi's monster form looks like a dog mascot costume that is a light brown and darker brown colour. His eyes are dark red in colour and his left eye is in the shape of a cross. He has a gun holstered on his right side and a huge zipper on his back so a person can enter and take control of him. In his monster form, he gains incredible strength, speed and endurance. His sense of smell is also improved so much so that his sense of smell is greater than that of a normal dog's. He has this ability when he is back in his normal form, but as you can imagine, the ability isn't as great. Now, it seems that Shuichi may have some sort of immortal ability too, as he was able to survive being decapitated by Claire's sister Elena. Though of course it was a good idea that he stayed in his monster form throughout this, as the alien stated, Shuichi would have surely died if he was to have resorted back to his human form in this state. In his monster form, Shuichi also gains this huge revolver. This revolver can hold up to six bullets, and that seems to be it. Now, now, this gun certainly packs a hit, as it is said to be just as powerful as an anti-material rifle. The gun itself does look like it could be used by anybody, though it would be difficult due to its size, as it was scaled to Shuichi's monster form. However, the recoil of this thing has the power to completely destroy the spine of a normal human being. 
It is said that his monster form reflects Shuichi's own inner desires of how he feels empty on the inside and that he requires someone else to become one with him to make up for his own weaknesses, which is where Claire comes in. Shuichi's true ability is that he can host a person within himself when transformed. In doing so, it is said to increase his own abilities further, but only if the person he is hosting is a capable match. So the more intertwined Shuichi is with the host, the stronger they become, including greater speed, reaction time, even becoming much more resistant to physical attacks. Now, it's worth mentioning that in this state, the host will be protected from most of the attacks they face, but not all. If the attack is too strong, then the host will sustain some damage too, but Shuichi feels the pain of every single hit, though it may be reduced. Later on down the line, Shuichi will learn that there is more to this ability than it appears, and that the bond he shares with his host and the certain circumstances they may be coming to face will trigger even more power than before. But thanks for watching this my video, 5 facts about Shuichi Kaguya from the series Gleifnir. Let me know in the comments which character you would like to see next. Of course I want to give a huge shout out to Warwick and Animator22 for supporting me on Patreon and don't forget to smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. Check out my links in the video description and subscribe for more anime content. Till next time my fellow weebs, peace! Nani